Hi, I'm Matt. I'm out of our Rapid City Shields store. And today I want to talk to you about the 10 essentials. These are items that I feel are important to have in your pack. There's definitely a lot of other options out there, but these are 10 uh, that I think should be in every pack. So I've got my backpack here today, and I'm gonna kind of show you items that are in there uh, that I feel uh, will make that trip a better experience for you. You want to enjoy the outdoors. And so let me show you a few items that I think will really help you enjoy that. Number one I always have in my pack is some way to get water. Don't let hydration go on vacation. So the more uh, access to water you have, the better. That could be through a water bottle. That could be through a bladder that's in your pack. I know that water comes at a cost and that cost is weight. And so if I have a liter of water, I have two pounds in my pack. Sometimes your trail makes you carry a lot of water because there's just nothing along the way. Uh, but if there is and you have access to water, you can lower the amount of weight you have by carrying a filter. And so I have one in my pack today, and that's just that when I need more water, I'll be able to pump a little bit more without having to carry that weight the entire time. But water is important. If you're not hydrated, uh, it can make a miserable experience out there. And so make sure you're always drinking water along the way and that you never want to run out of water on a trip. That's why it's my number one. Next essential would be sun protection. Uh, there's a lot of options you can have. Sunglasses, I'm always gonna have a hat with me. And then another fun item I love is a buff. So versatile, I love items that have multiple uses to them, and a buff is definitely one of them. I can put it on and protect my neck uh, from getting fried. I can also cover my face up from the wind or the sun or maybe bugs that are, are out. Uh, if it's really hot, I'll soak it in water and put it around my neck. That also provides me to be a lot more cooler out there as well. Along with the sun, there's other elements that you're gonna have. And so you'll find a rain jacket that's always gonna be in my pack. You never know if it might rain or not. And then depending, you might need to add a few more pieces of clothing. And so I've got an insulation layer that I have in here that I might need. Um, so that could be more or less clothing, just depending on what it's gonna, what's gonna happen out there. I always advise, look ahead. What is the weather gonna be like? Do you know what you need? Don't be surprised uh, by a predictable situation. Also in my pack, I carry a few other items. I'll always have gloves with me. And then I carry a beanie. Um, I'm follically challenged, and so having a beanie keeps my head a little bit warmer. And then socks. I know not everyone carries socks in their pack, but I do. It doesn't matter if it's a short hike or a long hike, there's nothing that feels amazing like a fresh pair of socks after you've been hiking for miles. Even if you're not hiking a long time, maybe you're gonna be going across a creek or something, and you think, I won't slip in, but then you do, and you've got that wet foot. Uh, being able to swap out and put a fresh pair of socks on feels amazing. Or you can be an angel out there for someone else that falls in the creek and being able to offer them a pair of socks that are dry. The type of socks are important. You want wool is always my recommendation. Wool does a great job of pulling moisture off of your foot and keeping your foot dry. A dry foot is a happy foot. Uh, and so make sure that you have the right pair of socks uh, in your pack as well. Another essential I have out there is food. I'm a snacker, I like to have snacks. So usually in my hip pouch, I'm gonna have a few snacks on the trail. I also, on this one, I've got my stove with me uh, and I also have some food with me that I'm gonna cook. Food's important, you burn a lot of calories when you're out hiking and you wanna make sure that you're putting those calories back in uh, so you have enough energy for the day out, out hiking. Next essential I've got in my pack, it's gonna be a med kit. This is important to have, at least one person in your party needs to have one. You don't know what's going to happen. You can kind of build your med kit uh, for your own experience. You and mine, I'm, you're gonna find things for your feet, for like if blisters, I've got insect repellent, I've got stuff for rashes if you're gonna run into poison ivy, you know, ibuprofen, bandages, I mean, even some more serious things in here. But you can put all the things you want in a pack, but if you don't know how to use it, you're gonna run into trouble. So make sure you're educating yourself before you go out on how do I actually use the products that are in this pack. 
That could be watching videos, that could be reading instructions a lot of time coming there, but you need to do some type of education before, otherwise this is really useless. Navigation. I will always have a map with me and that's important because I wanna know where I'm going. I don't wanna get lost when I'm out there. I wanna know where my destination is, how I'm gonna get there, water that's on the way. Uh, so this could be a map and a compass to you. This could be your GPS device. This could be your phone. There's lots of great apps out there that allow you to know exactly where you're at and where you're going. But same as the med kit is you have to do some sort of preparation before you go out so you know how to use it. So once again, if I have this, but I don't know how to read it, or I don't know how to use my GPS device, or I don't know how that app works, the last place you wanna to have to learn that is out there in the field when you actually need it the most. Next essential I have is illumination. I want a light source out there. Your trip might not be planned to go to late at night when it gets dark, but you never know when it might. And so having a source of illumination is important, not just for you to see, but also for someone to see you. It's an easy way to get rescued if they can actually see you out there. Now, it's great if you bring this, but you also have to check before you go, is it charged? If it takes batteries, do you have extra batteries with you just in case? Don't just trust that it's good to go. Always check before you go. Next one I have is shelter. You wanna have some type of shelter out there with you. Uh, for me, I'm packing a, a rain fly that I can put out. Uh, between some trees. This could be protecting you from the rain. This could be protecting you from other elements. This could be protecting you from the sun. Just like we talked about a hat, this is the same type concept is I, the sun's really harsh. Uh, maybe I wanna take a break and not be right in the sun. Maybe there's not a lot of trees around. And so this is a way to get out of the sun. Along with that is, you know what, if I'm gonna put up my shelter, I'm usually gonna put up my hammock too. I love a hammock. It's relaxing. It's the reason, a big reason why I'm out there is to relax, to enjoy, to rejuvenate myself. So lounging in a hammock, I find is a great way to do that. Next essential is the tool that you need. And that could be as simple as a knife that you're using. Um, that could be a repair kit that you need. Whatever tool you might need, think about before you go out is what am I going to need? Another one I'm also gonna carry with me is I'm gonna have some way to start fire. Uh, that could be waterproof matches. Uh, that could be making sure you have tinder with you, but you wanna have an ability to start a fire. Fire is a important safety tool is if you were to get lost or stranded. Once again, not necessarily just for the heat source so that uh, you're staying warm, but also so people can see you as well. Fire is an important one. Same thing is you need to know how to use it. Don't just go out there and if it comes to it, where all of a sudden you need it, it shouldn't be the first time you ever had to make a fire. There's a couple other items that don't necessarily go in my pack, but they go on me. They're duplication of a lot of what we talked about. And duplication is important. Just because you have one item, that might not cover it. And so I've got other things like a straw that I can drink out of, it's just a filter. So if I don't have my water bottle, I lose my filter, I lose my bag, I have a backup just in case. I also carry a bivy with me. It's basically like a space blanket, but it's another form of a shelter that I'm gonna want if I am stranded, I am lost, I'm cold. It's not very comfortable, but it will keep you alive when you need it. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm guessing some of these might be in your pack, but hopefully you picked up an idea or two that you don't bring with you. You thought, man, that could make my experience better. Cause that's what this is all about, is we want you to have an amazing experience when you're outdoors. And some of these might make or break your day. I would hate for someone to run out of water or not have enough food or get really bad sunburn or be too cold and you not enjoy an experience that should be amazing. And so think about, do you have these items in? Should you bring them? And hopefully it'll make that experience just a little bit better so you can enjoy what it's all about. If you have any ideas for items that you love to put in your pack, share them in the comments below. I'd love to see them and read them. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you on the trails.